Okay, so that first link in the description will take it to this page that you see right here, where you can get that 60 day free trial. Now, if you don't live in the United States or in Canada, you will only get a 30 day free trial. But the rest of the tutorial is pretty much the same for you. So just follow along as well. So to sign up, we just type in our email address right here and then we click on sign up free. Then we get to the next page where we just have to decide on a password and enter our first and last name. And then once we've done that, we can click on get started. So now that we have created our new constant contact account, they want to know a little bit more about our business and they're going to ask us some questions so that they can give us some recommendations how to set up our email marketing with their software. If you don't want to give them the information and you don't want to answer those questions, just go to the top here and click on skip and then you can just skip all that part. But I'm just going to go through that real quick. So I'm going to click on let's go. And then my industry is let's say education and then click next. Then I want to grow my email list and click next. Uh, I already have a couple of contacts and that would be let's say one to 50 contacts. Click on next. Uh, do we have a website? Let's say no right here and get results. So now based on the information that we have given them about our business, they will just give us some tips right here about how to build a website if you don't have any and stuff like that. So um, you can go through that if you want to, but let's just go ahead and get into our constant contact dashboard. You just go to the top right here and then click on go to my account. All right, so now we're inside of the dashboard of your new constant contact account. And this is where you see an overview of all your latest campaigns that you have just set up and also just some statistics, um, how fast your um, email lists are growing and stuff like that. So once you send out a couple of emails and once you grow your list, you'll see a lot more data on your dashboard right here. So what you're usually used to navigate through constant contact is this menu on the top right here. So I will quickly go through each of these menus, but uh, while watching this tutorial video, you will see that you'll get familiar pretty quickly uh, with this menu here. So you have the campaigns that you'll use to set up new email campaigns, new newsletters, new email automation sequences, and all that kind of stuff. Um, then you have the contacts where you see an overview of all your email subscribers, the different segments, the different email lists that you have set up. Then you have the reporting where you see all the stats like open rates, click through rates, and all the st analytics that are uh, associated with email marketing. Then you have the sign up forms when you where you can create new sign up forms and new landing pages that you can use um, for people to sign up to your email list. Then you have something that they've introduced uh, a little while ago, which is websites and stores. So you can actually build entire websites using constant contact, but I will not really cover this in this tutorial because uh, this is more about email marketing, which is what constant contact is mainly for. So if you want to um, build a website using constant contact, you can use that as well, but I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial. Then you have social, um, so you can manage your social media accounts with constant contact if you want to. You have integration, so if you want to integrate like Shopify or something with constant contact, you'll find all the integrations here. And the library is just where all your um, files are stored, like your photos, uh, your videos, all the content that you use for your email marketing will be stored in the library right here. Now, the first thing we're going to do in your account is to go to the top right where we see your name and then click on my settings. And this will take us to the settings and this is where we have to set up our organizational address. You have to do this, otherwise you will not be able to send out emails because at the bottom of every email that you send out using a software like this, you will have to have a physical address. It doesn't have to be your home address. I would just suggest that you get a business address and then just type in your business address in here. So to do that, we just go to the right side where it says organizational address and then click on edit address. Then just type in your address right here and then click save. Okay, so now you see you have set up your address right here and now we're allowed to actually send out emails from this account. Now the next thing we wanna do is to go to the top right here where it says verify address. 
This is where you can type in or where you can set up new email addresses that we want to send out emails from. So I usually sign up using a Gmail address as you can see right here. This is the email address that I signed up with for this constant contact account. But I want to, what I want to actually do is send out emails from my own domain. So something like simon at medicsmedia.com. So the way how we can do this is we have to verify it with constant contact. So what we do is we just type in the email address that we want to send out emails from right here, um, Simon at medicsmedia.com, which is my personal domain right here. And then I just click on send verification email. And what they will do is they just send an email to uh, this one right here. And all we have to do is just go to the inbox of this email, click on verify, and then it will um, say verified right here. And we're able to send out emails using this branded email address, which looks a lot more professional and also helps to not go into the spam folder. So this is the email that you will get. So all you have to do is just click on verify email right here, and then it will take you back to your constant contact account. Okay, so let's quickly check if that actually worked. I'm just gonna go back to my settings on the top right. And then let's go to verify email address to the, on the top right here. And then as we see, this Simon at medicsmedia.com is now verified and I'm able to send out emails using this address right here.